Mudimu does not play with words. If God tells you that this is the day for healing, he means every word that he says. Maybe you came here today, you are not, he- you are not sick. But maybe you know someone who is sick. But I want to challenge you to also show you that when you talk about healing, we are not just talking about physical healing only. In fact, physical healing is one of more than 10 kinds of healings. Because there's many areas that requires healing. In fact, I have seen a verse where people were begging a prophet, but the water in the land is bad. As much as our city is beautiful, the water is bad. And it causes death. And the prophet said, give me a bowl. They gave him a bowl and salt. He took a bowl and salt. He went to the stream. He put salt, salt in the water. And Abulela, from now on, the Lord has healed your water. If God can heal water, God can heal your emotions. If God can heal water, he can heal anything. It's not about just work, it's work pain. There are many areas that need healing. And I pray that as you listen to the word of God today, you listen with expectation that God, you do not play with words. And I've learned people can be thousand. Marwabal Musad, one. I put a mope longer. I'm going to if I touch the helm of his garment, I will be healed. And out of the crowd, one woman was healed. Today, I believe God for healing. I'm believing God for healing. It can be physical. Yes, I believe God for healing. I came here believing God for healing anything, anything. God can heal anything. He can heal anything. Maybe you have been sick for long to a point where you are sure that you can't be healed. But I've come to tell you that God can heal anything. He can heal your eyes. He can heal your feet. He can heal your high blood pressure. He can heal your sugar diabetes. He can heal anything. God is a healer and he can heal anything. If you believe, say amen. Maybe before I go any further, I just need to show you some facts about healing. And these are things you must know before I say anything. The first one is in John 4, verse 50. John 4, verse 50. Kili fili di verse 10 in Chimara. Eli kampa, John 4. La khona a praise the Lord. Rekai trauma mo verse 30, no, mo verse 48, please, if possible. Also, tedi ango no bala. Because the today. six, I must be done. Then Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, mm-hmm. you will by no means believe. Yeah. The noble man said to him, Say. Come down before my child dies. Okay, so maybe just a, a background. Put a finger there. There is a noble man, a noble man, a man from the palace, a man who was a leader, who had a son who was sick to death. And he came to Jesus to beg him to come with him to the house to heal the son. And, and that's where we are reading. Amen? Amen. He came to do what? To beg Jesus to come with him to the house to heal the son. And Jesus said, He came to beg him to come with him to the house and do what? And heal the son. So continue reading. I think we are together. Jesus said to him, mm. Go your way. Your son lives. Okay. Now Jesus Please follow this. Jesu lena le dumela ha le bone. Lena le motlhobo wa o dumela ke le bone. Mara a fetsa a monchi sele. O re mo yena go your way. Your son is what? 
the Lord will come with me. Your son is what? Lives. Your son lives, which means your son is healed. And what did the man do? What did he do there? So the man believed the word okay. that Jesus spoke. You see, how you go for a healing, you must at least believe the word. Just the word. Because the word of God has got the power to heal you. So he believed the word that Jesus said. And what did he do? What did he do? Continue. And he went his way. Uh -huh. Verse 51. And as he was now going down. Okay. He, Please follow as he was going down home. Uh -huh. His servants met him and told him so saying. Somebody is meeting him. And then what did he say? Your son lives. Your son lives. Before I feel high. But that's not my point. Yes. Then he inquired of yeah. them the he, hour when he got yes. better. He inquired of them. Utomilova better. Not healed. Utomilova better. Kanako man. And then barring it. And they said to him, mm. Yesterday at the seventh hour, the fever left him. So, Mini, Mini, where the man was coming from. So, he had to walk like today, seventh hour, you remember the prayer watches? Seventh hour, Ginagoma. Eh? Eh? Seven in the morning. Ah, okay, okay. If I would say seventh hour, I would say Nimu. But I would say Nimu. I would say Nimu. What time is the seventh hour? How many watches of the day do we have? Eight. Eight. Three watches. Eight. How many watches of the day? Eight, Eight hour watches of the day. And in Nagoya, Toma gave me six to what time? So the seventh hour, can I come? Hi, Morena, so look it. Seventh hour. It was at the seventh hour. So when we go to Mavane, Kabu Matri, so Mavane Kabu Matri, fever left him. Now version A way. Yes, that's only how I think it King James. When he's inquiring, what time did he do what? Can you get that part? What time? Do you have another version? Yes. He yeah. asked them when the boy had begun to get better. Uh -huh. No, another one. Another one. Yell na ring. Yeah, around that time. One, two, three, yes. Around that time. Uh, can you go more better, more, more better? What time did he get better? Version L and I ring One o'clock. Mm-mm. Skalangaraba. Can you go version? Earring. More earring, what time did he get better? Can you go that question? Earring. With a different version. At what time? Did he begin to get better? And then, tell him what you're doing. You're better. Tell him what you're better. Yeah. What time did he amend? At what time did, you, uh, did he amend? Yeah. The word amend. It's like, it was not an instant healing. So what I want you to understand, because when God heals, it's not always where he heals instantly. Sometimes he amends, and the amendment that we are talking about there is that you can be prayed for now and not receive your healing immediately. But you may not be able to see the results with immediate effect. Retwenjekita wa ya quick and immediate miracle to a point where when God is healing you gradually, you start doubting God or God is at work. Not all of us are going to be healed instantly. Some of you we prayed for you last week. You are healed. You have to believe it in the name of Jesus. And they are telling him that he started amending, which means he began to start healing yesterday. Kabuma one. I've seen God healing people after this had into a wound that was open. And it starts amending and over time, maybe after a week or even after a month. So one thing that you must know about the healing of God is not always immediate. 
But the fact that it's not immediate does not suggest that God has not done anything. I'm talking to you when our Sonyangi Muleti Mubarabu chronic after we have prayed for you, you must believe that I am healed. And you must remember after a year that at what time was I prayed for? It was somewhere back, Kabudi 89, give me guy today, Kabudi 1, 2, July in 2023. That's the time I started amending. Because after this session, your situation will not grow worse, but it will become better and better and better in the name of Jesus. If you believe Bulela or it's not always immediate. But be believing. If the fever left him, Mara, he did not become perfect at the same time. Which means healing took place that day. Mara, he was not perfect at the same time. So, to me, no, he started amending, which means Atoma Utsua Azamauja yesterday, Gabo Matri. And the man knew for it was the time when Jesus spoke a word. And I believed the word. If you have to believe the word. Bazalan haunan to epalang mudim ayo. Some of this chronic illness research ready to relate. But I want to challenge you and challenge your faith, or you must believe the word. What's up with Jesus? Does not healing anything that is obvious. He does not heal things that are obvious. He will heal you on things. Tell you now, when I'm going, yeah, you're not your problem. If paleti the physicians, if paleti what we have corner, and who specialize like a John. So that's number one. Number one that you must know, he does not always heal immediately. But what you need to do, you need to believe the weight of God. Number two, Matthew. Matthew chapter number eight, verse 14. And Mark 1, 29. And we'll finish with Luke 4. This story says one, but I want you to see something. We'll finish with Luke 4. Now, Matthew, Matthew 8, 14. Urin. Yes. Now when Jesus had came, had yeah. come into Peter's house, mm -hmm. he saw his wife's mother lying sick with fever. Yeah. So he touched her hand and the fever left her. Wait, wait, wait. Just so it's an end to the mother's law's house, in law's house, Ukrar, the mother in law has fever. Ne? What did he do? He touched her by hand. And what happened? The fever left her. Immediately. The fever left her what? Immediately. Mara Peter, stories are high. I want you to note the difference. Mark 1 verse 29. I give Peter Uri. 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 Give Matthew. Uri Peter touched the mother-in-law. The fever left her immediately. Amen. And then what is Mark saying? Mark. Now as soon as they had come out of the synagogue. Yes. They entered the house of Simon and Andrew. Yes. With James and John. Yeah. But Simon's Simon's wife's mother lay sick with a fever. Yes. And they told him about her at once. Mm -hmm. So he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up okay. and immediately the so fever left her. You see the difference? The first one touched her and the fever left her. Give Matthew's version. Mark Uring or Peter touched her and lifted her by the hand. And what happened to the fever? The fever. Lo anaga mo Jerusalem. Wama tomo ori touched the fever left. Wamo we di ur umu touchiche amuku kaka letso lahai. And what happened to the fever? It left her. And let's hear the version here, Doctor Luke. Look out, Sanjay. The one who will take doctor. Luke chapter four, verse thirty-eight. Uring Doctor Luke here. Four thirty-eight. Luke. Yeah, refer on Luke 4, 38. It's very important. 241. Now he arose from uh -huh. the synagogue and entered Simon's mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. But Simon's wife's mother was sick with a high fever. Okay. It's the same thing. Is it the same thing? Ah, this one. He was sick with what? Matthew fever. Mark fever. Dr. Luke, it was a high fever. Apaule lay men on one early fever, out to be seen or yaki corona or king. Marao said to the Tibao Hono explain, this one is a high fever. So, Dr. Lukur, you are sick with what? 
a high fever, which means this was not a normal fever. According to Luke's version, Mara Oring Tillage, continue. And they made request of him concerning her. Yes. So he stood over. Okay. Whoa. He stood over. Urobe Jimofas. Look out. Jesus stood over, which means I am a soul. Alimofas. And then what did he do? And rebuked the fever. And it oh, left her. Oh, So, Luca Uring. Matthew Uring. Are you following? Matthew Uring. He touched. And what happened to the fever? It left. Mark Uring. He touched and lifted. What happened to the fever? And then uh, Dr. Luke and Auring, he rebuked. Mm, before rebuking, he went close to the level of saw and he rebuked. What did he rebuke? The fever. So, are you spirit of fever? I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And after rebuking, the fever left. The fever left and then continued. And immediately she arose hey. and served, and served them. And immediately she arose and served them. Luke must be right. Sometimes for healing to happen, certain things must be rebuked. Because there are certain sicknesses. Because there's some demonic forces behind that causes you to have fever. One week water, four weeks water, because there's a certain spirit. So when you deal with it from a perspective, yeah, 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 Mark, and a perspective, yeah, man, yeah, Matthew, you are just trying to touch and heal. But when you come from the perspective of Luke, there is a spirit behind and you must rebuke the spirit behind and when the spirit has been rebuked healing is possible for some of you to be healed there is a demon that must be told or get off get thee behind me devil in the name of Jesus if you hear me wave and say this is the day that the Lord has made I can't hear you but this is the day that the Lord has made I will rebuke this sickness in the name of Jesus. Even I rebuke, I will be healed. Get out in the name of Jesus. I will rebuke out the devil. You are a liar. Get out in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You can't have control over the life of my mother. I rebuke you. You can't have control over the life of my child. You are a demon. You are a demon. You have been tormenting my life for too long. Get out in the name of Jesus. Some things need you to rebuke them in the name of Jesus like Peter and say you are disguising like you are a flu. But I know there is a demon behind this flu. This is not a normal flu. You spirit behind the flu. In Jesus name you are rebuked. Some things must be rebuked. Some things must be rebuked. Your condition is not changing. Maybe it's time to check or there could be something that must be rebuked. Because little Baba ngoli dimoni na ona let's wa haya interview na kweka mkao ba sharp when it's time to go to the interview uno tswa like maloeji di pain ni jene ana na rufuri le mojo maybe there is a demon behind your illness una na moto kubole la le na mo inuiti ya joka ramu kwe there is a demon behind your illness ai nyaki progress ya how ai nyaku bona we ya pili kali bintu la mora na Jesus ki I rebuke and tell in the name of Jesus I wish I had a witness in the house I rebuke the spirit behind your illness in the name of Jesus. If you hear me touch your neighbor and say, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Shout again and say, I rebuke you 
In the name of Jesus, you spirit of infirmity, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You spirit of sickness, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You spirit of blindness, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You spirit of cancer, you are a spirit I know. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Somebody shall get out in the name of Jesus. Some things must be rebuked. Some things must be rebuked. Some things are in your God, you are worthy to be praised. Some things must be rebuked. I like the fact that the Bible says he went there and he started bending over. I'm never a rebuke. When I do not turn your God, bend over, or check or the devil, you are a lie. Doctor Umpari Poto, Kausa never change, Hababoni this, Kausa never change, Hababoni that. I prayed with someone every time before they would go for operation, Babona Masuika Kamomali. But when it's time to do operation, Masuika disappearing. Tomorrow, Habeva Kirkirvakra Masuika, Hababa operation, Masuika Babu, Kausa net so and so and over and over until the devil is a lie. Huna the spiritual stones, Ave in Kamu, Michine Palagudi detector, when they are supposed to do an operation and I said the devil you are a liar I rebuke the spirit behind the stones I know these are not normal stones there is a demon behind the stones I tell you if you don't understand how demon works but I'll operate until they operate and until they operate until your body can't take it anymore there is a demon behind this rebuke the demon and say get me behind me devil in the name of Jesus Peter, look rebuked the demon and what kind of healing was this instant <laughs> somebody say instant I love it instant what healing at the same time, instantly. Can I tell you that God is able to heal instantly? As much as He can heal you, process. instantly. to amend. Your wound is not open. Instantly, like this. Yeah, for like a little bit When I pain, it's getting more than you can process. You know, in the name of Jesus, you are out of your body. You can be healed in the name of Jesus instantly. Instantly. I feel the instant power of God that is able to produce instant miracles and instant healing in the name of Jesus. There is a sudden healing that can take place for you in the name of Jesus. And can I tell you, it does not matter. I was far away, a distance of two days. But when the power of God is at work, the instant healing can touch your mother. I look all in popo, I look in the name that is above every name touch my mother wherever she is instantly she can be healed maybe you need to call after the service and say what time did you start to be to amend what time did you receive your healing because as I'm praying now something is happening to your loved ones to the people that you know some of them are in hospital they are receiving the power of healing right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody must agree with me. Wave and say we are in agreement. It may be your cousin, it may be your brother, it may be your sister, it may be your friend, it may be your colleague. May healing anointing reach them and touch them in the name of Jesus. Another fact about healing. For God to heal you sometimes, not always. Sometimes he will cause you to do a strange thing. 
that you have never done. Mudima Averixi, therefore, just so Raspo for Norman, which Allah, which I have a room, or go wash your face, a kappa abon. Just in the Old Testament, the prophet Ura Naman will go and wash yourself how many times? Seven times. And after that, you will be healed of what? Of leprosy. He has never done that again to anyone. You see, when we are in the ministry of healing, we are in of knowledge. We are in the ministry of God can instruct you to do something you have never done. And you can't continue open affair, you register the mud and tell people that now I'm healing the blind with the mud factory because Jesus healed somebody with the mud. It was only for that person. Your case is special and your case is also covered. If your case is the eyes, God knows how he's going to heal you. There is a reason why Jesus used the mud on that man's eyes. There is a reason why that man had to go and wash himself how many times? Seven times. Some of the healing, are, they, they will require strange anointing. Some of the healing will require strange things to be done that you have never done. Maybe God can instruct you that I want to heal you, but I want you to wake up in the middle of the night and pray for an hour. You can't make that a rule for everyone else. For some to be healed, God can show you somebody that is in need and say, I want you to go and be a blessing to that person. When you become a blessing, I'm going to take out the pain. We can't make that law because it's not even written in the Bible. But because there is an instruction that comes with it, there is a miracle that will follow. I tell you the truth if you need healing from God especially if your sickness is strange you might need to hear from God for that particular strange illness that you have and do what God says you must do and as you do what he says you must do you shall be healed because I'm about to do a miracle if you continue to fill the jars with water there won't be any miracle but that day something spectacular had to happen so he said do something strange pour water in the jars and as you pour water in the jars I will do something for today and it is only for today and it will happen for today because your situation is strange and the Lord wants to do something amazing that has never been done before if you hear me say my condition is strange but God has me covered. God has me covered. One man, God said to him, you've got cancer. I want you to stop eating this and that and that and only eat one, two, three. And people asked, why are you doing that? He said, God said so. And he started amending. God can heal cancer. And sometimes even in the healing of cancer, he will give you instructions, especially when you are very connected with him. If you are going to discuss with people, they will tell you, your body needs meat, your body needs that. According to the way health, America, you need one, two, three. But God said, and because God said, I need to do that which he said I must do in order for me to receive my healing. Some kinds of healing, you will need a special weight from God in order for you to receive another fact the story of the ten lepers you remember the story of the ten lepers go and show yourself to who? to the priest what did he say? did he heal them? no, he only said I see you are sick but go the way you are and do what? show yourself to the priest the way you are which means don't wait until you are fine before you start going to testify about the miracle that I've already done. But at the same time, boy punch out to the priest. While they were going, while they were going, they realized that they were healed. One limit call or your healing that does not happen until you take a step of faith and start walking like a man who is healed. Because some things will require to step up and start walking like you are healed. It's not only in the area of healing. In all areas of your life, there are times where God will say, stand up and start walking like you've got everything covered. Act like you've got everything under control. When you know that you don't even have money in your bank account, but the Lord said, I must stand and start walking while they were walking, healing took place. 
place. And I want to tell you that healing took place spiritually. But for it to manifest in the natural, they had to act on the word of God. When you start acting on the word of God, you are decoding that which is in the spirit and you are downloading it into the physical. So you are walking to show yourself and yet you don't have the results yet. But you believe that before I arrive, but he will see to finish. Sometimes for healing to happen, act by faith. If you are still here, wave and say, I'm going to act. Oh, touch your neighbor and say, I'm going to act by faith in the name of Jesus. As long as he said it, believe it and do it. As long as he said it, believe it and do it. You were not allowed to appear before the priest when you had leprosy. You were not allowed. The only person that was allowed to go before the priest and reveal himself. These ones have not gone through that process. They were not purified yet, but they believed that his word, he said, I must go. So I will go like any other person who has has been cleansed and yet I still have leprosy so it will require me to have another kind of crazy faith that will push me to get out of my comfort zone and forget how I look and how I feel and go like I'm healed and when I arrive God will see to finish God will see to finish and before they arrived because of their faith something supernatural happened that is why one of them did not even arrive to the priest. While on the way he realized it was healed, he turned back. Just for how? Ten people were healed, but only you, and he's even a foreign, who has come back to say thank you to me. Because but there are certain things to happen. You must act. Jesus gets to the pool of Bethesda. He finds a man lying there, and the people really knew that he has been there for 38 years. Ask it out with a question: Do you want to get well? Every time when the word tire has been stirred, before me, and they get healed before me. Just so, or do you want to get well? When no bizo blame about you. I would be bad. If Mamma give us can sabotage, I would be bad. The question is, do you want to get well? And Jesus avoided the palabalo jahai. I'll get up. Because some miracles to happen, they need exchange. Get up. Pick your mat and start walking. He did not heal him. Don't miss it. He told him to get up while you are still sick. Because some things will require you to get up while you are still sick. Now, don't worry, too much to a point where we miss our opportunity of greatness and miracle because we are too concerned about my feet. My hands cannot do this. And Jesus said, get up. Somebody would have said, what do you think? Why do you tell me to get up when you know that I've got a condition? Why don't you heal me first and then give me a command to stand after healing me? And God does not work that way. Touch your neighbor and say, I better get so died. Get up, get up. That's why if you are going to hold God accountable at the point of his word, you must believe in him more than you believe people. Because if he said, get up, he meant it. If he said, stand up and walk, he meant it. All you need to do, stand and start walking, stand and start doing the things that you, they were told you were told you can't do. How about you do now? I challenge you today, today, God, in the name of Jesus, I'm today. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. 
Because they have got a good return for their labor. Leviticus 19 verse 16. Eri, you shall not be a slender among your people. Yet you can't act against your neighbor. You see, Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19 verse 16. Do not go about spreading slander among your people. Do not do anything that endangers your neighbor's life. I am the Lord. My vision says you can't act against your neighbor. According to Acts chapter 2 verse 46, every house to house, they were going breaking the bread in fellowship. God is concerned not only about your spiritual life, he is also concerned about your social life. How you live with people. How you relate with your colleagues. How you relate with people even in church. Their social lives are sick. Very much sick. And you need some kind of healing. If God wanted you to hone away he would have created you out there somewhere in an island somewhere. The reason why he put you amongst people, he knows that you need other people. And they also need you. And a verse is very clear here. Or when you are one, you can only do that much. But when we are two, we can do better. Your social life, touch your neighbor and say, social life is also important. You need people in your life. God has the power to heal your social life. And I'll tell you why people say Naki Nyaka Kilu one hunch. It's because we have been hurt socially. 
we trusted people as friends they hurt us we've been around people who always gossiped about us we've been with people who jealous us who can't be genuine instead of them clapping hands to a point where you are not meant to The unfortunate thing is that socially we get hurt many times. Hanchi rtsepaba to muruti tswangwane re ba botse le dipelo tsa rena ba re go batse. And bar bar condition re ba rena na or it's okay to be alone and not talk to anyone in life. It's not okay. It's not okay for you not to even have one friend in jail. It's not okay for you to say it's me and God, me plus God, a majority, you are a liar. God is not a human being. To a lot of you and God are majority. And you also saw me, you never say we are two are better than one. I are two are better than one. I are you and God. That part of you and God works, yes. Mara u toka mu tuwa maadi, li na ma uru kono pila liye. Yala ma u heti na u kopan li li tozi, eni podu u kopan li liye no am suspect. Do I know suspect about Nababatu, Babasnamuladu? You are always suspicious. Oh, what a brother is out of this. Oh, what a sister is out of this. Not everybody is a Tosi. Somebody speak and say, Oh, Lord, heal my social life. You are not going to be a long man. You are not going to be a long man. You are not going to be a long man. Social life. If you hear me wave and say you need a social life, Luen. Uzo itola ganja alu selekoni. What did I say? Imuzulu chapter one verse one. It uzo itola ganja ni utsele kone. Odi kire abe ani connection that we are talking about when our ragi nyakibat. Sometimes asura unyakibat. Sometimes people have done a lot of bad things to a point where you think unyakibat. You're not going to profit. Eki ulibelech. You know? Can I go deeper? Eki ulibelech. I una stress when stress is how good I una chomi. Oh God, heal our social life. Maybe we are surrounded by wrong people, wrong people around us. By Lord, everything to a point where we don't trust anyone. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Our destiny help us when they come. We are missing our destiny help us because we are so content about what people will think of us, how they will judge you. Not everybody is coming to judge you. Are destined to help us. Which is a bit of a Lord. How is your social life? And also, we'll look at Ryan. And which is a piece of how is your social life? Let's ask spirituality. Rao, tomorrow, we'll look at Malin. Rao, social life. Limo kerekere karidi ya chachila wa yako pake ngauti. When I nyaka chachila, we see God coming from heaven. Hey, what power from heaven? But you also need a social life. Because Jonathan. As long as this is a mislead. That's why I'm not going to just stay soft because I'm not going to be able to get the kitchen. I'm not going to My man is the best man. He's cooking with me all the time. That man is not meant to be cooking all the time. Oh, he needs 
the social life. I believe in the name of the Lord. If you are married, take my advice. Would I talk? We talk on a rule about Ronald Bassar, twenty and Kataman, sweet, but what they are fragile and special. So, I need to wear a banana, a very cheap human, a parabo, to a one. Now, go on to a rule, and I will let you know. I'm sorry, but I'm a special gift. These people can cry, I'm telling you. Especially when they are together. But this is how he bought me a chocolate. Mama, I got chocolate, chocolate. You need that. Sometimes you need to go there and be with other ladies and cry about chocolate. What other girl? I will. I will never talk about love. Lebon. I will never know tomorrow. He can only love. Utomi, utomi. So you need people that will understand you. Social life is not sinful. Look about social life here. A man who has friends must indeed be friendly. Keep a keep a sentry. Be really irrelevant. Do I know about social life? A shop, do I know to look at our iso? Oh, God, no good. Hallelujah. I would not let my little one to do a moon to tell about to live here. Joe will say as long as it's a saving. Oh, my God, I'm a 12 child because no simple. Oh, Holy Ghost fire. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, heal my social life. I know you are not expecting this. Nelly expect our girl, the pool is there. Come and jump in. Jump in. The social life is being healed in the name of Jesus. Did you wash the dishes? Banaba Kapi. The bills are reported. That's why we're going to have to go to the house. We're going 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 to go to the house. Have a social life in Sweden, my good. You talk. In a global language, I will lack of a name. That didn't really learn that I'm a fellow organizer of the lap. Hey, the two shall be one. Mara mutu salamutu. Let me go again. Hey, can we take the second one? that God can heal your career. Do you know that career also needs healing? you know that? Wow. Proverbs 22 verse 29 
do you see a man who is skillful in what he's doing? Yari, he will not stand. I don't know what it says. Put it there. 22 verse 29. He will not stand before obscure men or ordinary people. Yari, he will stand before what? Kings. Ibim. Also, tell you, like a voice, tell how he is social. Do you see a man who excels in his work? Yeah. He will stand before kings. He will not stand before unknown men. When you excel in what you do, career-wise, you are not supposed to stand before what Trunyan affair. You are supposed to stand before what? Kings. But when vice versa is true, something is wrong. There are people who are working very hard and very skilled but they are still standing before obscure men and they see nothing wrong with it. There is an abomination and an error that I've seen under the sun. Kiboni di prince di zamaga maut yare kabona balat batamaga di per oye balago peler this is an error that proceedeth from the rulers which means there is a certain rulership or there is a certain kingdom that initiated that error. And this verse says, you are skilled in what you do. Where must you stand? Before kings. Not before Batunya Nafel. You are very skilled. Instead of you standing before kings, the only thing that we see happening, all the time, forever and ever, May the Lord heal your career in the name of Jesus. Some of you are very skilled, very skilled everywhere we are, but you are overqualified. But you are overqualified everywhere you go. You are overqualified. And I know, I believe in a God that can heal your career. Baba ngoba tsena fru before na ufika ba bolela around your chair. Ba re he he lo tule afisa lo tule afisa ba dry around. Ba declare when you are going nowhere. The next thing was when mero go nga tsweni ya wo ba depressed o tsara ke stress mero go become toxic for you. But I pray for the healing of your career in the name of Jesus. I tell you the truth. Let aba o lo ile career wise. This is the day for that healing. God is breaking something in the name of Jesus. When the qualification is where they are not meant to decorate a mama They are meant to take you to stand before King. I'm not talking to you when. When I go to the Luena, I go to the Lata, I go to the Isaac Pila, I go to the Dodger. I go to the Lata, 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 I go to the a man who is skilled in what he's doing. Another version says, a man who is diligent in what he's doing. You will not stand before ordinary people. You must be diligent in what you do. You are not meant to stand before ordinary people. And in this Bethesda Sunday, may the Lord heal your career in the name of Jesus. So that doors can begin to open, so that things can begin to happen in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the water has been stirred and your career has come into the pool and your life will never be the same again if you are hearing me shout yeah thank you Jesus somebody read Proverbs 11 verse 1 Kale Bwankai Kraka ESV ESV because here we talk about 11 verse 1 please Proverbs 11 verse 1. ESV. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Or any version that we have, it's fine. But King Solomon loved many foreign women as well as the daughter of Pharaoh. What verse is that? Oh, it's Kings. Yeah. Little Nalar Amen. 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 Proverbs 11 verse 1. Dishonest. Scales, dishonest scales are an abomination of the Lord, 
But a just oh. weight is his delight. Yeah, it's horrible. Dishonest scale are uh, an abomination before the Lord. Kinyaka ESV. Google or ESV. It's a very language here. Move it over. Yeah? Go over like a mic. Please come closer. Run quickly. Uh, because we've got a more like... Yeah. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, yes? But a just weight is his delight. Urare ikaraure oe vas duta. Ae, skala tana dita vajabatu. Kia wujisam. Vese ikaraure raure oe vas duta kisebi. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. I believe in the skull. It's It's one some meat. It's one Okay, Okay, Yes, V. A false balance is an abomination. And this is when people would not treat people equally. They will treat this one this way and another one that way. And the Mudimur is wrong. But when you check the commentary of ESV, it speaks about balancing your life. Or even when it comes to how you balance your life and you balance it wrongly, it's an abomination to God. You are a just weight. It's what? It's a delight to God. That is deep. What that verse is telling you, God, as you are pursuing your career, don't forget God. Because most of us, we are so consumed of our careers that we are putting God at number last. And the God verse saying, it is an abomination before the Lord. You are a just weight. It's a delight before God. Meaning, if you are always in church and never go to work, it's still an abomination. Because it's a false balance. If you are in church and you left your husband, that's a jago where now we miss a little. So it's a false balance. Sunday, you come to church, you are not cooking. I'm going to pray. It's a false balance. A false balance is an abomination to what? To the Lord. But just wait, it's a delight to God. Meaning, you will take 20 balance. Your career must never consume you until you forget you are a child of God. They are so consumed of their career such that they will miss church the whole four months over which I'm writing my exams. Touch your neighbor and say, Exam, I'm going to write my exams. Even if I'm going to write my exams, I'm going to write my exams. I'm going to write my exams. I'm going to write my exams. And I'm going to write my exams. Marawena, when it comes to the school, you put everything, including God, aside. Bible a false balance is an abomination to the nation chari fatheo le ansodis na khal re ngwadi le metric a ithome ka wena degree re ngwadi le a ithome balance lo tsa ha it's a sin to always be in church but ba ba la wena o sabana maro sky chabela or it's also a sin for always being at school and never go to church una le seven days to balance one day to come to church you are never in church portfolio and when you have to go to the mall you know what when you have to come to church a false balance it's an abomination to god some of you are chasing after money that you have to work the whole year and never come to church it's a false balance that's why because when there is a false balance, it's an abomination to the Lord. Touch your neighbor and say, balance your life. And here is a proper balance. God first. Somebody say, God what? First. 
proper balance God what first God what first if you put God first he will put you first in everything I've seen people who are putting God last and pursuing their own lives the way they wished and things are still not working out are you go crazy it's very true crazy you can even end up in depression Family. Your family also needs healing. There is a verse here I mustn't miss. Psalms 133, verse 1. 133, verse 1. 133, verse 1. Please. 133, verse 1. Can you read it? Bless. Blessed unity of the people of God, behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron running down on the edge of his garments. Yo, may the Lord heal our families. Because verse ye irikin twebu tzi. Together in unit. You see, you can be as successful as you want, but if there is no unity amongst Banabamutu, that success goes to waste, I'm telling you. Listen to what I'm saying. The first people you would want to share with, because they know where you come from. They know your struggles. They know how you grew up together. But there's nothing painful that when you send them a car, when you send them a house, when you send them a house, you see, some of our families are sick. To a point where banaba mutu they jealous each other. Is that not sickness? Kerar banaba mutu are supposed to be lifting each other up. They are jealousing one another. Umo uko muarenga siye kamo la pen la hai. Kerar you are my brother. You are my sister. We are supposed to be visiting each other. Ker umo muarenga sten arumpo ne kala pen la umpo la. May the Lord heal our families. Some of our families really need a special anointing for healing. Here is a daughter who is not talking to her own mother. Not it's about daughters, but very close to their mothers. How do you sleep at night when you are not talking to your own mother? How do you even pray when you are not talking to your own mother? What's our own shield and mokai? Utankra man to it in what day? Wana abulela kama mahai. How blessed it is when brethren live together in peace and harmony. There is nothing beautiful than a family that is united. This thing goes further to the cousins and our brothers. and our, It goes further. It must not be okay when we are not talking to each other. It can't be right when we are not talking to them. Because you are causing division in the family. We were supposed to be coming together. Because Christmas, because we are scared to come together. Because we are in the family. Who just made himself koyoko of the family. How blessed it is. I'm an elder for good year with some to a house in an hour. Le Chapo, why? The change of the level more about the Chapo, why? In the Abolera, the Kaiser, and the new summer mate. To a point where I want to pass him a trigger, Chabo, because that's what we're not cousin of a lawyer. Ban to a point where I want to know people are scared to even share. 
because they know once you come low solar everything oh we ke le shira nyana lae e bila ba thomeka le shira le shira le go le letswala ba sola mogonyana ba ona ena a sola ke ba tofela o sola ke di family matuset ke bona ba yo yo anota ka motho wa dipeketsana we na bana ne ba fedile anota ka sofu sa Jericho ka mohaye o bolela family In most cases it's not strangers who speak things like this. How ka tla le ena ana le mkhabanyana o tsona le bo murutizulu ba re a lola tsa mogala be ghala be ghala. Le bita le sepela so. Av bob. You know, ba mitse ka le. A la dile sister mo lo nyana ba yo 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 ba sa dile ba fedile. Wa no lata yana wo mogekolo mogekolo ba re ke shuka mama ba ba tse ba ba tsana. Eno family. Wa tsa o le family. Family ka ba ra dilo ka moka. He mutia wa ka nota le motho wa bona re a topa magogo. Re go feti. O lo mitse squeeze 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 squeeze. He squeeze squeeze. And how great you know us ja bona life motho. O to thokomela bo mmao. To ra nyoko mo ghetela o ra nyela mang a se ka nyala mang. Ene ke family e e bolelang. Ene le mmona re dire le motho wa se rute. Motho se mo ngwalele le speech on the day. O ra se ka tole embarrass. Askatoni I greet after all in the name of Jesus. Le monchorki greet all in the name of Jesus. Because kura tile ke motho wa le maranchi ke family that starts talking. Or nana yo na ya kai we. Ba ba ru 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 mun meno ba fedile he a wari wari ngi but we we are supposed to support one another but we are the ones who have a reka ai ba betwa ru itira mo ka one what must happen? Ha lusa mmero ke ba re ke morwalo mo rena e wa re la pisa ha ba bona di college ya ba di arabi ba re uthomile what must happen may the lord heal our families in the name of jesus come on wave and say may the lord heal our families when all are waving one swing ya ra re ku wena bo thata ko family nya ha because ma thata ma wa tsana na mo kereke wave and say may the lord heal my family in the name of jesus ba ba ngwa tsa ntjo ba phone ya re ka si we out of so many years or van re re tsu kwa kereke ke fetuile ke huputsi may god heal our families ke la bona kwa pana le ngwana se sia o ba hoetsa ba re o se tsa fe tsa university a la tsi ba le ya university ne ba tshaba le botsa ka re ba tsi ba re na le bothata heal our families who heal our families Can I take the last one? Do we still have a minute? Maybe I got your email to get a feature. I remember more. Psalms 41 verse 3 also said it. Proverbs 4 verse 20 Get a fetch ka jona I will leave the land The Lord will strengthen him wait on his minute, bed of minute, illness Wait a minute I'll leave the land for today I'll leave the mental for today I'll leave the spiritual for today I'll leave the financial Yeah for today read The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. Oh, you will sustain him on his sick bed. This is the physical healing. <coughs> Baby Leary, them that love the Lord, when they are sick and they are on the bed, mudimo ta bia le tso. You will sustain him, which means you won't die. Somebody speak and say I won't die. I shall live. proclaim the name of the Lord so the Lord will sustain him on his sick bed and restore him from his bed do you see that which means mudimo aulo alawe 
he sustains you only who is kelao tsharant mara you don't end there you will be restored back to life which means o tla tswa mo mpeteng ne ke re ke mthomo ke na le motho mo wa dumelana le nna gore if you have somebody wa lwa lang o mo tsibang a robetse mpeteng god made a promise or he will sustain them mo mpeteng pole but not only that he will restore them they will come back which means they will stand up from that bed and they shall live in the name of jesus the physical healing is possible god is able to heal a person arobetse go icu a munitsha from spetlele a phela ka lebitswa la morena jesus and this is possible the last verse that i gave you which is uh, proverbs 20 verse 22 verse 20 to 22 proverbs 4 yeah please 420 Four. yeah 4 Four. yes verse 20 yeah there we go read my son pay attention to what i say listen closely to my word please see this do not let them out of your sight keep them within your heart keep what the words of the lord for they are life to those who find them find what the word and health to a man's what whole body my vision doesn't say whole body where am i where am i uh, it says to all flesh man tsuya mudimi at least a podiso to your flesh Now I want to challenge you today. If you came here and you are sick, this is the day that God has made to heal you. You heard the word of God and the word of God emphasizes healing in all areas of your life. And for now I want to emphasize that even physical healing is possible for you. I get to go to the king of Yango guy. But he touched me Oh he touched me Jesus touched me and oh the joy that floods my soul floods my soul something wonderful that you are going to And now I know He touched me And made me whole Jesus touched me He touched me Oh Jesus touched me and all the joy that floods my soul that floods my soul something wonderful happened yet now
Dun. Can you do this solo for me? Mm. We the Lord of guilt and shame. Mm. Then the hand of Jesus touched me. special day that the Lord has made for healing. All those who are standing in front, please close your eyes. You can lift your hands if you can't, it's still okay. Because this is the day for your healing. I am the Lord, your God. I am the Lord, your healer. I'm the Lord that I sent my word to heal your disease. The healer there is Rafa. The Lord is saying, I'm Jehovah Rafa. The Lord your healer. As I always say, Rafa means the healing from the marrow. Which is deep down inside your bone. I don't just heal the surface, I heal the root. And when I heal in the factory of the blood, the blood will be purified, the veins will be purified. Ashes, ashes, check them, for God is already healing them. The Lord is healing them. You are receiving your healing now. Morena, would you the operation at a high? For this hour to my high. Pain, Bulwechi, Nagoyao, if a deal. Strings come with me. Nagoyao, if a deal. Moyao, halalela. Sepela Moara Renango for the Sabatuaha for the Sabatuaha for the Sabatuaha Bafo Lavatuaha Bafo Lacalvito Motis Bafo Lavia Bafo Lavaf. I rebuke that spirit that is behind your sickness. I rebuke it. I rebuke it. I rebuke that sickness. I rebuke that demon that is behind your sickness. I tama, I tama, I In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. When we touch you with our hands, praying for you this morning, we are ministering healing upon you. But I believe that you are already healed. A step that you took by coming forward was a step of faith and the Lord has healed you. Father, you can open the eyes of the blind. You are able to make the lame walk. You are able to this day 
to heal cancer. You are able to heal HIV. You are able to heal TB. You are able to heal a high fever. You are able to heal any other kind of sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. We are standing on the holy ground. You are fixing our bones in the name of Jesus. You are healing arthritis in the mighty name of Jesus. You are healing even sicknesses that we do not know that are hiding in our bodies. In the name of Jesus, the God who is a healer is healing you right now, right now, right now, right now. You can come now, right now. Receive your healing. 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 In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Receive your healing. Let's all have a demo in Chapay in the moment in Wahau. Let's all have a demo in Chakalibis on our Jesus. Let's all have a demo in our in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My own Halalilam for this Sabbath. My own Halam for this. I want to demo in the Takuta. Every demonic attack in the name of Jesus is arrested by the power. Of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, 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 receive your healing, 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 receive your healing in the name of Jesus. You said we shall lay our head upon the sick and they shall recover in the name of Jesus we are declaring this discovery in the name of Jesus from any kind of sickness from any kind of sickness in the name of Jesus Jesus, there is a boy who was about to die and you raised him from the dead by simply speaking a word. And even now we are standing here in agreement together with the Father that in the name of Jesus, he is receiving his healing now. In the name of Jesus, for this is the day that you have made that in the name of Jesus, he shall receive his healing. Father, we speak the manifestation of you upon him. The word of the Lord says, our God is a consuming fire. So in the name of Jesus, you sickness be consumed by the fire of God. Be consumed from your feet to your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are receiving your healing now. spirit behind the sickness. I rebuke you that in the name of Jesus, your time has expired. Your spirit behind the sickness. In the name of Jesus, you've got to go. You are healed in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you spirit behind the sickness. The power of God that is in the name of Jesus. Healed in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing now. Be healed. Your sickness. Today marks the day. of Jesus.
give you powers and kinds of success. And we say, in the name of Jesus, marks the day of your healing. And you are healed. and you want to stand on a gap you know there is no distance in prayer please open your hands like this come closer please open your hands like this immediately stretch your hands stretch your hands stretch your hands you, you are standing before God I shall stand behind them I shall stand behind them I shall stand behind them quickly. You are standing before God, standing before the throne of grace, and you are saying, Lord, touch me so that those that I'm representing here will receive the healing. I hear God saying, instant healing is taking place. Immediately now. They are turning on their bed. Because the power of God is already at work. I'm going to count until three. And when I say three, you just receive the power of God for healing. It will come upon you immediately in the name of Jesus. One. Two. Three. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, it's happening in the name of Jesus. Come. In the name of the he has not stopped. He has not stopped. It's flowing here. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Be their potion in the name of Jesus. 
and stroke will not be your portion. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, he has been defeated over 2,000 years ago. And the word of the Lord says, by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed. In the name of Jesus, I release healing upon you in Jesus' name. Something wonderful happened. Lord, a big hand of If we prayed for you and the person is not here and you have got access to talk to them, if you can't reach them, just give them a call Amen. and release the anointing that is upon you. I had a testimony here. Somebody we prayed for here. Someone was at home. I don't know if she's here. And we prayed. 
God touched that person the same day and that person was healed which means if God can do it for me, he can do it for you, he can do it for them. As we leave this place, we will continue believing God for healing in all areas of our life. I wish we had more time, otherwise I wrote Jomaka 6, so that we can finish them. But I think God has a plan. Amen. I want to ask if you are here today and you are not born again, before we take offering, can you give us the baskets in the meantime? And you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Please lift your hand so that we can pray for you. If you are here, you want to be born again. Please lift your hand so that we can pray for you. I'm not seeing any hand. I will repeat, if you want to give your life to Jesus... You want to be born again. Please lift your hand so we can pray together with you. Amen. I guess everyone is born again. We, shall, we will be coming to give an offering and we'll also pray for those who paid their tithe. Shall we get a song, any song from your hearts? Then we can come and give.